Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm George Hickenlooper, and you're about to see a preview from a very special film from a very special director, who I consider one of the most underrated filmmakers of the 1970s, Peter Bogdanovich. And this is his Paper Moon. Keep your sunny side up, up, this is a long and somewhat odd trailer, which uh, has a lot of outtakes in it. So I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll make a little personal note first. Uh, Peter Bogdanovich and I have a very long uh, and somewhat tumultuous relationship. He, in, in a way, is my mentor. I uh, did my, He hired me to do my very first film, which was a, 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 a documentary about his making the last picture show, and it, it was that film that eventually got me Hearts of Darkness. Um, so to Peter, I'm always the guy who kind of rifled through his underwear drawer um, and made a very personal documentary, which hasn't always sit well with him. The documentary is called Picture This. Enough about me. Um, Paper Moon is, I think, the height of, represents the height of Peter Bogdanovich's career. It, it, uh, it's ultimately what we call the part of his early trilogy, which included uh, Last Picture Show, What's Up Doc, and then Paper Moon. Um, this came out at the height of his success. He was hosting The Tonight Show. He was uh, a well-known, iconic figure in American popular culture. He was dating Sybil Shepherd. He had left his wife, Polly Platt, who was instrumental in, in his early success. In fact, it was Polly Platt, who was his production designer, who recommended to Peter that he hire Ryan O'Neill's daughter, Tatum, to play Addie Prey. This project uh, was based on a book called Addie Prey by Joe David Brown. And it was originally going to be directed by John Huston, starring uh, Paul Newman and, and Paul Newman's daughter, Ellie Potts. The project fell apart. Bogdanovich had just come off What's Up, Doc? Um, Polly Platt had read the script, gave it to Peter. Peter loved period films, as he as, as seen in the last picture show. Peter was also a, a big fan, has always been a big fan of Howard Hawks, like comedies. Um, also a big fan of John Ford, has emulated that style throughout his career using wide angle lenses employing real um, ironic sense of humor. Um, and, uh, and so he took on Paper Moon, which really represented the high point of success. After Paper Moon, it was kind of downhill for a while for him. Uh, he went on to do Daisy Miller with Sybil Shepherd. Um, but this is a very funny picture. Tatum O'Neill went on to um, win the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, I think the youngest actress in the history of the Academy, to win an Oscar. Um, I think a TV show starring Jodie Foster, based on Paper Moon, uh, went on the air, I think, the following year, not to much success. But Paper Moon has con continued to be, uh, I think, one of Peter's best and most underrated films. My personal favorite is Last Picture Show, but I think there's some... I think, you know, any, any film that's comical tends to not get the same accolades as a dramatic picture, but I think this picture works on so many levels, primarily a comic level, but I, I think it's very uh, heartwarming without being too sentimental. It's light, but um, has the kind of uh, gravitas that I think you know movie audiences um, star for today, which makes it, in my, in my view, t a timeless picture. I think Ryan O'Neill's amazing in it. I, I know that Stanley Kubrick picked Ryan O'Neill for um, Barry Lyndon because of Paper Moon, uh, or so Peter has told me. Um, and um, I just think Peter continues to be one of the most underrated directors of that generation. Paper Moon really represented the height of American auteurism in the early 1970s. The director's company, Bogdanovich, Friedkin, Coppola, really represented a very special moment in Hollywood history, which uh, we will never see again. From the maker of The Last Picture Show, and What's Up, Doc? You won't be sorry.